What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, NYC Mike, man, and I'm back with another reaction video. You already know what it do, and today we're going to be reacting to a very special video, man. My boy Hamza and Sneaker are discussing no fat in the por porn e epidemic. So before I get straight into the video, man, I need y'all to do me a quick favor, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And most of all, turn on those post notifications so you get notified when I upload a new video, man. So without further ado, we're going to hop straight into it. I think as you've streamed, you've kind of automatically, you're, you're gaining, I'm guessing, like 95% male uh, audience. And so you automatically, yeah, you, you start to realize that what problems these guys have. They're, they're deeply lonely. They're, they're struggling with mental health, with porn, with with um, with their diets, with everything. And especially on porn, it's one of the, the jokey ones where it's like, oh, Hamza tells people, like some guy was in my stream the other day. Oh, Hamza's like got some like no touching PP club or some shit making fun. And you know, it sounds kind of silly, but it's like, bro, like... The majority, like, 11-year-olds have porn addictions these days, man. Yeah, Honestly, when, when you really think about it, it breaks my fucking heart, because you're, um, you're 22 years old, aren't you? Um, no, I'm 23. I'm turning 24 in six hours, actually. It's my birthday tonight. Oh, shit. Happy birthday, man. Thanks, man. I'm glad that you got on band on this day as well, but 23, I'm, I'm guessing you, you got a smartphone and started watching porn at age, like, what, 13, 14, something yeah, like that? Yeah, uh, 12 or something like that. I remember, like, no homo, I've never talked about such a I remember, like, I don't chat. Tell me if you've done this before. I was at a sleepover with my friend. Okay, I'm, I, I just paused the video real quick i just wanted to say this yo tell me how one of my subscribers you know they you know they told me that i should link up with sneeko because for some of you that may not know sneeko lives in new york you get what i'm saying now i don't know what borough he lives in i live in harlem you get what i'm saying i'm from harlem you already know what the vibes is you feel me i don't know what boroughs um sneeko lives in but i would assume that he's in the bronx which is basically right there from Harlem, like, you get what I'm saying, it's basically right there, you know, the Harlem and the Bronx is like this, you get what I'm saying, so, yeah, man, um, I definitely would love to link up with Sneeko one day, you get what I'm saying, he seems like a really cool dude, and, you know, my mindset and his mindset are very similar, you get what I'm saying, I would assume that me and him would agree on a lot of things, on a political level, that is, but then, of course, there would be some things we would disagree on as well, Get what I'm saying? But I just wanted to put that out there. I'm a... We were all like 12 and we all like watched porn together. Um, and then like and then individually we'd go into the closet and jerk off and stuff like that. I remember that was our sleepover. That was the first time I watched porn was like I was 12. I remember Two Girls, One Cup came out. And um, uh, oh, nah. up before soccer I remember practice. that. Like, what? that oh, was, actually, man. That was the first prawn I saw. I was remember that. Cup seeing like bitches like throw up poop and back and forth. Uh. We'd be sick to my stomach for weeks. Uh, it's really bad for you. And I think at first, um, in college, like, I had a, a problem. Like, I always had game. I was always able to pick up. And there was sometimes, like, I, I probably would be, like, sometimes there was one time I was fucking a bitch. I had to go to the bathroom and watch porn to get hard, and then I went back. You know what I'm saying? That's a perfect example of how porn desensitizes you. Like, how is a, a gr naked girl in my bed not enough stimulation for me? So I'm there, like, watching uh, Tory Black or whatever in the bathroom. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. It's, it's sad, bro. This shit fucks you. Yo, bro. I don't know what your relationship was with that woman, but imagine you are getting more serious with a girl, but then you've been watching porn for years. You, what I say, I like to bring everything to like the sort of evolutionary psychology that our how our ancestors did, and you know the the sort of evolution inside of us. What what it's doing when we watch porn and we jack off? It's like our monkey brain and our entire body thinks, okay, you you are at the height of man. You've just experience like sex and ejaculation and impregnated 50 different women with different hair colors everything fantastic you like you're the man well okay rest be tired we eat some junk food like you're the man you just spread your seed you, you don't need to work hard anymore we have a generation of men who are lit I, like i don't know if like the semen retention kind of nofab community is a bit cringe and you know they're a bit too serious with this oh like, day 9 scales on it like, it is culty. It is I, I wouldn't join a community, and I think um, I think the difference between you and me is like I could foster it more with comedy. Like I'm able to like point out. I think it's a good wake up call uh, for a lot of people. Like you know, people who doing the jaw stretches and stuff like that. It's like okay, it's a little, all right. Like you know, what I'm saying like it's. I guess it's good, but it's. I don't need no fap. I can just tell people like, prawn is bad. I know that, and it could be that I don't need to join a community of guys and go like jerk off about how we don't jerk off. That's weird. If you've always done it by yourself. I think that's. Um... A pretty big difference at least from me like i needed to see this I'm, I'm the kind of guy like i needed as as many advantages as possible so i needed to really obsess over this mm. i look up to guys like you it seems like you've had not so much an easier journey i'm sure you've had your struggles but there's a bunch of guys who can kind of realize porn is bad and then 
start making progress away from it whereas a bunch of guys realize it's bad and then literally still stay addicted for years and they need to like be constantly told okay it's bad it's bad it's bad it's bad they need to wake up and literally obsess over it and whilst that seems so counterintuitive it's i personally needed to do it to to see any level of progress at all yeah so i'm gonna just end the video off on that point man i'm gonna just get my final thoughts on it well y'all know how i feel about this um i agree with sneeko and hamza on this i feel like the um the whole prawn, you know, situation, it's very detrimental to a lot of young men's lives. It does desensitize you, and um, that's not a good thing. You know what I'm saying? I know there are some dudes that are probably watching this, and they think that prawn is, you know, not bad for you, and it's not. It's okay to watch it. Some No, it's not okay to watch that stuff, man. It's not. It's not good for your mental state. It's not, man. You clearly, did y'all not just hear what Sneeko just said? He had to watch porn just to get hard. Just so that he can have sex with a girl. A real life girl. Mind you, there was a girl that was butt naked right in front of him. And he had to go in the bathroom and watch porn to get hard. As a man, you shouldn't have to do that. A real life woman should be enough stimulation for you to get hard. See, but Sneeko, he was so desensitized that even a real-life woman wasn't enough to get him hard. So he had to watch prawn on a phone to get hard. That's not healthy, and that's not good. You get what I'm saying? So this is why I try to, you know, tell a lot of young guys, man, you really need to just focus on yourself, man. Stop watching that stuff, man. It's not good for your health. You get what I'm saying? And... Yeah, man, it 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 really it does more than just desensitize you to that stuff. It it also has a lot of other negative effects as well. And in my personal opinion, I think it should be banned. I think it shouldn't exist at all. Um, but you know, some people may disagree with me on that. I don't really care, but I think that it should be banned, and that's just point blank period, because I know the detrimental effects that it can have on someone. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. But I hope any guys that's watching this video, man, I hope y'all learned something from this. I hope this motivates y'all. If y'all are addicted to prawn, j I just want you to know that you are not alone. You get what I'm saying? There are a lot of guys out here that are addicted to it. Some guys may not want to admit that they're addicted to it, but they are. You get what I'm saying? And if you're addicted to it, then the first thing... The first step to realizing that you have an addiction is to admit it. You have to tell yourself. You have to admit that, okay, I have an addiction. I have a problem. That's the first step to getting over an addiction. So once you're able to tell yourself that you have a problem, you're already one step close to, you know, ending that addiction and overcoming it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's saying it's going to be easy. For some people, it may be easy. For some people, it may be really hard. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. And I'll see y'all in the next reaction.